This is Twit. The term hacking and the name hackers has been around since the 80s. And open source was a military term until hackers basically took it over in 1998, early 1998. So it's been with us for more than two decades, but not far less long than 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 the term hackers has been. It occurs to me that um, hackability is really what we mean by open source. If it's open, you can hack it, right? And and the ability to hack, I think, is really at the core of all of it. Where where I want to go with this, if if you're up for it, um, uh, Corey Doctorow of EFF and much else has been on this case for some time, I think with limited effect because it's hard for people to get their heads around. But what we need are general purpose things. Okay, this, this gizmo is general purpose. It can be used for many things. And it's open, meaning I can do stuff with it, right? And more and more stuff these days is is not just closed source, but it's special purpose and black boxed in some way or another, and more and more vertically integrated. And what I'd like to get is your thoughts about what you're up against with that. And I mean, to, to the degree to which you think maybe what Hackaday is in is kind of a fight for the future, kind of a fight for... Um, for openness in general and hackability in general, which I guess are the same thing. Yeah, that's absolutely right. I couldn't agree more. And the more smart, like a lot of the things around us get, the more they kind of, the more their manufacturers kind of want to use that smartness to control us and to, you know, to watch what we're doing, to monitor us. And then when their service goes out, you know, you're stuck with a brick again. And there is kind of, especially at Hackaday, other places too, this strand of reverse engineering devices in order to keep them running and in order to keep them working and in order to just simply do with them what you want to do with them. And that is absolutely right. You know, we can't necessarily make manufacturer X move to an open model. Um, but a lot of them are doing it by their own free will in a way. Like a lot of devices these days have embedded Linux in them. And that invites people who know what to do with Linux systems to kind of get in there and tweak them to their own benefit. I mean, it's your device, right? So I'm absolutely with you. One of the really coolest things I've seen recently, there are a bunch of these old retired Bitcoin miners in China and the FPGA board that ties a lot of the GPUs together to do the Bitcoin mining is really interesting to people like me who like to toy around with low-level hardware and FPGA stuff like that. But these boxes are no longer profitable anymore. Like they pull the GPUs out And so you can get these fantastic FPGA boards online for pennies that used to cost like hundreds of dollars for a dev kit. And so you can play around with these things just because of some smart hackers have kind of done the groundwork to figuring out that this is where these interesting general purpose computing systems lie and made a nice roadmap so that you can then take them and start using them for your own purposes. (laughs) 